Hi guys, as it's World Book Day, let me put this in story form. Once upon a time, there was a programme called BBC Politics Live. And on the panel was Nick Ferrari, Dawn Butler and Laura Trott. And Dawn Butler decided to call the Conservative Party racist. We will win those votes back. We don't have to go on the Conservative narrative, which is often uh, racist. Now, to be honest, Dawn Butler seems to be aiming her racist accusation more at Boris Johnson than the entire Conservative Party. Oh, racist who, who, are you, who are you talking Who, who what? Your Prime Minister. And let's be really honest here, Boris Johnson hasn't done himself many favours with some of the ways he has referred to certain ethnic groups or minorities within society. I just think that is Calling awful. Calling women letterboxes. His choice of words is unfortunate. Unfortunate, think, but yeah, not unfortunate. racist. No, not racist. No, no, unfortunate. This, 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 and I think Nick Ferrari saying there that the letterboxes phrase was an unfortunate choice of words is being incredibly fair, to say the least, because I think it was a massive blunder of Boris Johnson to call Muslim women that, and I think he should have retracted it. Oh. I can't, that is outrageous. Has your Prime Minister never I think, been honestly, racist? Honestly, I think that is outrageous Has and your Prime wrong, Minister never been and racist? that you should not, it's just, it's, it undermines politics and politi political discourse in general. If you're coming on here and calling the Prime Minister Prime racist, Minister no, he's he's not. Racist. no, he has no, not. not. Has he never said anything no, racist? No, honestly, I just... Now, Laura Trott has defended her party, and Twitter's been keen to point out that you get this rather odd situation where you have a white person telling a black person what is not racist. And I appreciate there'll be lots of people with different opinions about that. But it does look quite strange. But nevertheless, it doesn't mean it can't happen. Uh, sorry, I just find it extremely offensive that you call conservative narrative racist. I just think that that's rude and offensive. Some of them are. But there is one thing worth remembering that wasn't brought up in this BBC politics debate, which I'm surprised no one on the panel touched on. And that is the recent history of the Labour Party. Yes. I'm referring to anti-Semitism. I'm surprised no one mentioned it. I really am surprised. Because if you can remember anything from politics last year to do with the Labour Party, putting Brexit aside, it was anti-Semitism all the way. For like a whole year, they were dogged with allegations of anti-Semitism. People left their party because of anti-Semitism. People were kicked out of their party for accusing them of being anti-Semitic and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's really, really dangerous for anyone from Labour to go on TV and accuse anyone of being racist when your recent history is just littered with accusations of anti-Semitism. And you go even further because you say, we are better than the Tories, we are better people, we have better policies. Is that the right approach to build a coalition to win the next general election? I know politics is full of hypocrites. I mean, hey, look, I'm not going to point the finger at anyone. I'm a hypocrite. I'll say it for myself, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm supposed to live a Christian lifestyle, sometimes I fall short of it. I can be accused many times of being a hypocrite. I do think politics gets like that sometimes, and I do feel that maybe the Labour Party and the Conservative Party should just step back and keep out of the thorny issue of race if they can, and not make comments that spark debates that tend to lead to unsavoury comments and opinions emerging that don't help us as a society. That's just my opinion, okay? But who cares what I say? I'm just one of these uh, half-Arab, partially English guys who makes comments about race and suffers lots of vitriol for it. But there we go. I've said it now. Bye!